So now we're both in the closet. Yeah, I'm sis. <laughs> oh my gosh, welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn show. Kitchen is behind the camera. I'm Jorn. That's Jorn. <laughs> Going by the camera, um, welcome to the six month follow up video for our home organization video. You all said I couldn't keep this house organized. Mm -hmm. Let's see how wrong you stinkers are. They're pretty wrong, right? They're extremely wrong. Yeah. I'm really proud of her. Amazing. Oh my gosh. We'll hear more compliments <laughs> about me later on. Six months ago, we had this house completely organized from top to bottom. And a lot of you said, Kristen, I bet you can't keep it organized. And I was like, we'll see about that. But also, also, we've had some changes in this house. We have new furniture, we have a couple of new issues we gotta deal with, and so we just need like a little bit of an update. I should introduce Juliana again. <laughs> I've realized we've been talking for 10 minutes, I've not introduced you. That's okay, I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> I'm Juliana, I own Space Camp Organizing, and we organized with Kristen and Bree and Jen six months ago. Yes. And I'm back now to see how it's all holding up and to help tweak a few things that now can be changed because things have changed in your life, which yes. is totally normal. When you organize people's homes, what percentage of them would you say maintain the work that you've done? I would say, honestly, that 90% maintain it at a livable level. No one will maintain it 100% perfectly because we're human beings, that's not life. Okay. But I would say that we set up systems that are intuitive and work for the specific clients that we have. And we can go back six months later, a year later, pretty much intact. But I also have to say that maintenance is important. Okay, so you're saying that if I kept this place organized, I'm just average? Here's the thing. I think you put the work in to Fine. organize properly with us. Uh -huh. And so you are an average one of our clients, which means you are above average. Because I do think oh. that our clients work really hard to create really good systems with us. This is like the most organized I think I've been over a sustained period, like in my entire life. Like I think if my parents saw this video, my parents don't watch my videos, but if they did, they would be very proud of me. I'm proud of you. So I'm gonna send it to your parents. Okay, well, good luck getting them to watch them. You can take a horse to a video, but you cannot make it proud of its child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so should we walk through this house and mm -hmm. talk about like what's working, what's not working? Absolutely. Let's do it. Great. Oh my gosh, we're at the entrance of the home. So I think like this is actually one of the sections that we need to like maybe a whoosh, 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 whoosh a little bit. Actually, I like that. That's a, a whoosh, technical whoosh, whoosh. term. Actually, this is different since we filmed the video. Mm -hmm. Sheena and Daniel actually came two months after we filmed it and touched up a few things. Here's the thing. This is working as a receptacle for stuff that we need to like just sort of drop at the door. It's not particularly organized. It's kind of like a little chaos right now. It works if I can just sort of like dunk something mm -hmm. in like a thing. We've learned this about you. I think you need better labels, uh -huh. bigger labels, so it's easier for you to see what you need. Talk to me about this paperwork here. This is just kind of like, I don't know what to do with it. Oh, this is actually a toothbrush refill. Oh. <laughs> So I would say this is close and just needs a little bit of tweaking, but yeah. it's mostly working. B minus. Okay. Well, first of all, this seems to be working. Yeah, this is working. Do we need to do a purge? We need to do a shoot purge. Is that something you and Bree can do together? Bri and, and then I... we'll sort of like come touch it up and make sure all the systems are good? Bree and I will have a shoe divorce party. You don't need to even purge that many, just so you don't have too much stuff on the floor. That's kind of the there. problem, is that when we wear shoes, it's like, yeah. see you later. And like sometimes when we kick them off, they land on the shelves, which is convenient, but Excellent. not intentional. This is Project Island, also known as the Land of Lost Toys. So we had put this in as a place for packages to come and go yes. and for some projects to be yes. sort of stored. But I think there are some projects here that maybe need a little bit of addressing. Tell yeah, me about that. Yeah, this is probably the most disorganized part of the house. This is something that Brie bought that just kind of lives here for some reason. I feel like a lot of this is like blaming Brie for things. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a happy birthday headband. Oh. It's no one's birthday. Okay, well, we can put it in a party then if you have one. Yeah. There's no labels here right now, and we now have learned in the uh -huh. last six months that labels and or very specific places to put specific things are the key to you guys staying organized, so mm -hmm. we just need to do that here. Let's move on. That's actually, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's the worst stuff yet, but we'll find out. Can I shower yes. you with praise on your makeup cart being so organized? Oh, yes, the makeup cart's still out here because I just did my makeup. Do we remember when I first came here and all the makeup was on the kitchen? Yes counter and yes. now the kitchen counter is clear uh -huh. and all the makeup's on here so you get a round of applause. Thank you. This is all Daniel. The makeup cart honestly was game changing. It probably can use like a little bit of a purge but it's not like an emergency. It's not over full either though. So. No, it's really not actually. Yeah. All right, let's move on to some more things. I want to talk about how this is working though. Yes. Because I remember when I was here Good producing. six months ago <laughs> and there were clothes all over the floor because yes. 
there was a hang dry situation. And then we put this up and you're using it and it's working. Yes. Honestly, Incredible. the only thing we have to hang dry now is bras and that's just because my boobs are too big. And the little hair trash can. You see how Oh, is it working? Yeah, you see there's no hair everywhere. There's no hair. There's no oh hair. my god. So what isn't working? So let's talk about the medicine cabinet. Okay. I would like to say that this medicine cabinet is stupid. The problem with this medicine cabinet is that there are dumb little dividers and mm -hmm. make it hard to be organized. So this is not your fault. We just need to go through it with you. I would like to take out medicines that are not daily or weekly. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the kitchen. I should actually interject here and say, we're showing the parts that need the most work. If we're not showing it, it's because it looks good. The kitchen is great. So we need to talk about, there are two spaces in okay. the kitchen that are a problem. The first one is under the sink. So this here's- is not that bad either. Here's what happened. The garbage disposal flooded and we had to get it replaced and all of the stuff had to be taken out. And then we were like, I don't know what to do. We just kind of shoved it back in. I think if that should happen again, we sort of need to know where everything goes again. Absolutely. I'm also seeing a pattern of, you know, when we did your whole place and we did that together, uh -huh. there some things we were able to like really focus on and make very specific homes for. Other things like under the sink, they weren't the main focus because they didn't need to be the main focus. Now they are becoming a main focus because they're the things that aren't working. And talk to me about food storage. We just have a lot of food. The snacks don't fit. We have too much. I do have to say only two drawers for food storage is a small amount of food storage. But you also live in an apartment in like a city. So I think it's a mix of maximizing space and getting into the habit of buying smaller containers or going shopping more often because you do have access to things and learning to live that way. And someday if you have a bigger house with a bigger pantry, you can buy more stuff and store more stuff. Yeah. We do have cookbooks and some bar equipment in a basket. This feels like really lucrative space to me. Here's like the layer of dust that I just got off of uh, the cookbooks. So uh, yeah, you can tell I use these all the time. <laughs> Let's repurpose that, make a snack basket, because I do think realistically you need a little more space for mm -hmm. snacks, and then that'll clear up the problem. So this section actually, it seems like there's a lot going on here. It's actually less than it seems. No, this is not bad. No. And everything has a destination. Mm -hmm. So in the last six months, we got a TV uh, with the idea that Brie works in her office all day. It's a little small in there. So we were like, why don't we get like a bigger screen so Brie can like throw sports on the TV. This is work stuff, right? So this is for a video we have yet to film. Okay. We probably need some demarcation for that. Right. And then the other thing is, so we have this pile of bags over here. Mm -hmm. We bought a bunch of travel bags because we started shooting travel videos. Yay. The problem is that the travel bags don't fit in the cabinet. So guess who's gonna take home the travel bags? Jen. It's Jen. It's Jen. Then let's talk about the DVDs. Yes, do you so watch them? I do watch them okay. more than Kristen would like, but less than I would like. <laughs> I feel like this isn't working because they're stacked too deep and then you can't find what you need. Is that correct? That is very correct. Okay. Yes, and then they end up everywhere. I also see DVDs have made their way into the knitting box. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have an idea. We have some wall space over here. What if we okay. added some wall mounted DVD storage so you can see your DVDs better? Did you just That'd knock be over more DVDs <laughs> while, while, while doing putting stuff? away yeah. the DVD. Yes. The well, this is illustrating the problem at hand. We're going to fix it. It's an easy fix. Let's talk about the garage. I mostly love the garage. So, the problem with here is that this is just sort of like it's a large mm. format junk drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Except nothing in here is junk. It's all critical. It's all, yeah, very important stuff. And then the other problem is we just don't know what sheets we have. You have to pull out each thing and dig through and find. That sucks. And then sometimes yeah. try on it on the bed. And then by the end, it's like, why don't I just sleep on the floor? We're going to store sheets by size and then label the bins. Perfect. I love this. Love okay. it. So we've reached uh, the bedroom. It's a little cluttered here. We're going to fix that, OK? Just chill. But the main thing that I want to talk about is mm -hmm. I have acquired a significant beaded earring collection in the last, I want to say year, because I care about them and they're like, they matter a lot to me. They all kind of live in like boxes. Mm -hmm. And that makes me sad because they're beautiful and I kind of want them to be like out and about. Yeah. Would you like to display them on the wall? We have this big empty wall, why not? Great. You need to go back to the makeup cart. You're silly, you're bad little <laughs> Let's talk about the closet. Yeah. It looks great. So I keep the hangers here because I want to know. Where you took something out? Yes. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm like married to the fact that it's in, in rainbow, in rainbow order. order. Yeah. It's going good. The only thing is that I think lonely socks kind of needs to be worked So through. I was just informed that that was never supposed to have stayed. It was an oversight on our part. Oh. Sheena is very upset about it. So oh, really? we're going to have you go through all of this. If we do not have pairs for them, uh -huh. that category is going and we can use that for something else. Okay. I was kind of wondering. I was like, huh, what do I yeah, that was, I don't know. <laughs> 
and then uh, baseball hats. I think some of the hats can stay in there. I think most of them kind of end up around the house because like we wear them frequently enough where it's like, they, they need to be but the drop spot. We the might door. be able to add them to that front door. Okay. And these kind of hats, I think we have some room on the wall. Oh if yeah. We add them. That's a great idea. Do you want to do maybe as part of your homework, a yeah. little sweep in here and just make sure you're still wearing and liking everything? I have been purging as we go along, great. but I need to do like a little mini purge. Yeah, perfect. Let's talk about nightstands. This is my nightstand. It ends up with a lot of medication on it because I end up taking medication mm -hmm. around bedtime. Some medication is just going to live there. Yeah. And that might be a solution to the fact that there's too much medication in the other medicine cabinet. I think this is actually really wise of you because you are tracking your own habits and uh -huh. what you normally do. Let's add a tray so that they can all sort of be contained together. It's going to look pretty. You're going to love it. And then that creates a home for them versus them spreading out. Okay, next thing. So I'm in the shower because there's too much stuff in the shower. There's not great storage in here for stuff. So if we add a shower caddy storage solution in the corner, I think you're going to feel better about this. I think so too. What else? Talk to me about how this back of the door system is working. So this is actually mostly working out. Okay. The only thing I would say is that a little bit more like demarcation between like what kinds of medicine everything is. Antacids, cold medicine, allergy medicine, mm -hmm. emergency, laxatives. Cough drops. Co other stuff. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. I'm not on Family Feud. I'm not just going <laughs> to list medicines. Want to go review your homework? Yes. And we'll get started. Ugh. Homework. So that is our rundown of what is going to be upgraded in this house, as well as what we don't need upgraded because we're awesome. Mm -hmm. and Which we, is most of it. So one thing I think that we talked about off camera, the first time we organized here, there was a lot of work that we did. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we were in it. I just want to say that like, I think a huge part of your success is the work you put in. Like you oh. put a ton of work in, getting rid of things, going through things, and you've done a ton of work maintaining things. That is, I think, a huge part of why this place still looks amazing and will continue to look amazing. On that note, there's more to do, but it's not that bad. Teacher, you forgot to give us homework. <laughs> exactly. I have the homework written down. Okay, it's right. not bad. All right. You guys can knock it out in a couple hours together. Okay. So here we go. You need to look through the shoes in the front closet. Not just you're not wearing, you don't love anymore. Make a little space. Mm -hmm. And you guys can look at the closet together and mm -hmm. see if there's any clothes in there that you're ready to sell, get rid of, give away, whatever. Mm -hmm. Look through the lonely socks, make sure there's no pairs, and then maybe hurt with the things that don't have a you know, okay. partner. Yeah. You need to purge your travel bags in the garage. Mm -hmm. And then I need you guys to look through your food and get rid of anything that is expired or you know you're not going to eat. Okay. And that's it. That's yeah. not bad. Not bad at we all. can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's wave our magic wand. Mm -hmm. The magic of editing. Now we're working on stuff. Three hates this closet. There's no room to maneuver. I know. It's like we have a million coats despite living in Southern California. I just love my coat collection. I know. <laughs> Okay, so your current assignment is you've got to get rid of some shoes. All right, these shoes are gone. Oh, wow, you are not sentimental at all, are you? What? No, why would I be? <laughs> oh, these are gone? I yeah. Think so. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking. You have like all these boy mode shoes, but like you don't wear them. Let's see, I probably just need one of these two pairs. I mean, considering you don't wear either of them really. It's good to have sneakers. It's good to have Stan Smiths. Yeah, that's it. That's it? I don't have that many shoes. I think take a step back. Let's let's reevaluate. Okay. What about these? Those are those are cool. Those are handball shoes. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, they should be. Oh my god. Are these yours or are these mine? Oh, these, these are, are mine. Oh, you know what? These are garbage. I I would never wear this. What size are these? These are women's nine and a half. Those so are yours. Are... Oh, okay, these can go away. Really? You don't want those? They're brand new. Okay, then I'll keep them. I don't care. I don't care. You're the one who wanted me to get away and get rid of stuff. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sending you kind of old. <laughs> You're sending me so many mixed messages. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Are we done with the shoes? Oh yeah, we're done with the shoes. Okay. <laughs> I have three things of goldfish. I love goldfish. I just love them. And also I forget when I bought them. Sometimes they get shoved under bed. So that's why we have three things of goldfish. Oh, also I've been looking for this. Where was this? Okay, well that's not where it belongs. We gotta go through our snacks too. I hate getting rid of food, but a lot of this stuff is like leftover pandemic food that like my not wanting to get rid of it is tied to anxiety more than anything about like what if we need food again. This isn't a zombie apocalypse. I'm gonna be fine. Well, since I like to have massive quantities of goldfish on hand, uh -huh. what if we do a pretty jar on your bedside table and that way you can have a little bedtime snack? Okay, funny story. When Freddie organized my desk like four years ago, she had the exact same idea. That was the exact thing that she bought for it. <laughs> so everything old is new again. I love it. 
So we have lots of little snackies in here that we're like, uh, they kind of get lost forever. What do you think we should do? Well, I know one option was to put a basket here and get rid of some of this extra bar stuff or move it over, but you guys really like to make drinks. And yeah. you order a lot of drink accoutrements. So instead of killing a solution that we already made for that, what if we do a round basket on your kitchen island next to your fruit bowl? That can be for like your everyday snacks. Yeah, stuff we're forgetting about. Cause like the problem is like they can't get shoved under the bed. I don't want them. Okay. I had all these stickers that needed a place to live. And I think the strong uh, intimation was that I should throw them away. But instead I am putting them on my makeup cart. <laughs> and actually it's been weirdly therapeutic. Like just putting a bunch of stickers on a white space. It's nice. Anything to not admit that I'm wrong. <laughs> Look how cute they are. So we're having an issue with the hats. We have too many hats. I mean, like theoretically, could we put like more of the hats on like the back of the door and like the front entryway? Cause like, I feel like we have lots of space there. Like we just do an extra little like thing with the strip and you're making that face. In between <laughs> all your Mickey ears? Yeah. I like where you're headed with that idea, but it's not gonna fit. Oh really? Yeah. The door is pretty full. You have like more Mickey ears than I've ever seen one person own. <laughs> which is both fun, but consumes a lot of space. I love how you're just like, that's cool that you had an idea. There's one thing you can count on me for, and it's always being honest with you. <laughs> Where on the front entrance do you think we could do? Cause we have lots of hats. We have like this Dodgers hat, Dodgers but gay. This is actually a Disney hat. This is actually an old Dodgers hat. This is also a Dodgers hat. This is also a Dodgers hat. So <laughs> this is mine. This is Brie. We just have lots of Dodgers hats. There are other things in here. That's Alabama. This is for the bears. This is, I got it from VidCon a thousand years ago and I was like, it's cute. Unfortunately, we're Dodgers fans. So like that means we buy hats. But this one's gay. I don't know. Well, I had to buy it. Sorry, anyway, <laughs> we can't put all those on the back of the door. No, we can't. But you do have that area in the front entryway mm -hmm. where we have your bags hung. What if we do something above that? You know what? That makes sense. Cause like the person who's going to be hanging the hats up is Brie and she's taller anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's been six months since your last purge. Yeah. You have more clothes now. I do have more clothes now, so I should probably get rid of some of them. I feel like you're probably wearing your old clothes less. Yeah. Let's purge, let's purge. I don't see myself wearing this. Okay, let's get rid of it. I don't know if that's really my style. You're right, goodbye. This dress I love, I but know. it's too small. Okay, well then that's, we need to give it a new home. All right, bye, bye. go to hell. See how good I am at this? Yeah, 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 you're gonna have one of someone else. It's about me. It's not, it's about me. What else? What else? You're doing great. This dress is too small and I never really liked it. I don't much. like it either. I've never liked this dress. I'm so glad you're getting rid of this dress. Literally, thank God. This isn't bad. I should no, wear this more. No, it's not. Kristen, what's wrong with it? I don't like it. It's ugly. What? I was just saying I should wear it more. Oh, <laughs> so I thought it was a candidate for- No! Sorry, I love it. It's so good. Yeah, that's fair. This is also from a brand deal I did several uh -huh. years ago. Actually, uh, I kind of like to hold on to something houndstooth for huh? college football Here's purposes. And also, this is in style right now. You could wear a shirt underneath it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it for college football purposes, Roll Tide. Oh, also, You're do you correct. want this jacket I was going to give away that I think actually will fit you? Cute! Fits perfectly. Cute! Great. Yeah, let's keep All it. All right. Okay, so we're minus one thing. We got... <laughs> Not productive, but this is generally how it happens. This I, is how it happens. I get rid of stuff and then I'm like, are you sure? It you just don't moves want across it? the closet. Yeah. Do you want to hang on to this robe? I've already got a robe. Let's get rid of the robe. Uh huh. And also this Superman robe. One, I don't wear robes that often. Two, I've got one with my initials on it. Does it fit? Does it I just fit? It's a robe. fell backwards into the wall. Okay, time for shirts. Do I want to hang on to a lot of these cowboy shirts? Yeah, we might go back to the cowboy. Okay. This shirt is so cute. I love it. Love this shirt. Love this shirt. Love this shirt. Oh boy. I know you hate this shirt. I do. Okay, fine, it's gone. No, you can keep it. Okay, good, thank I you. I don't have to like everything that you own. I don't see us making progress on the shirts front. No. What's this? One wrestling t-shirt that I'm getting rid of. One of several, but I'm getting rid of that one to make you happy. Wow, what a great honor you've bestowed upon me today. <laughs> getting rid of one wrestling shirt out of, I, I wanna say 50? That's not true. Here, here's another wrestling shirt I'm getting rid of. Cool, okay. You gave it to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm solving a problem you created, so. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault that wrestling is the greatest form of American theater. I'm not getting rid of this because it is a shirt signed by all the Decemberists, well, but I should get- because why Because one, I'm bragging about it. Two, I'm saying I should figure out some way to like mount this somewhere. Well, we should have come up with that before we did a whole plan. 
Okay, fine. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. Those are all the shirts I'm getting rid of. Okay, wow. You got rid of nothing. You got rid of two shirts. I just like, look at all these black t-shirts you have that you don't wear. <sighs> I know, but I don't want to get rid of them. You get really use this jumbo cloud I room t-shirt? That you gave me? That I gave you for a strip club? We're going to commemorate this for a second. So in like 2007, I worked on the show Nip Tuck. And my last night, uh, my Nip Tuck internship, they took me to Jumbo's Clown Room, which is a strip club here. And they got me this t-shirt. And I've never worn it, but I just kind of have it. Now I can't get rid of it. Now it's a moment. We'll put it aside as momento. <laughs> This shirt's a little too small for me so we can get rid of it, but it does rule. Yeah, this is cool. Listen, someone will love it. <laughs> you did good! Good purge, honey. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm. We did good. Let's go through my medicines that I don't need. Let's get rid of stuff. In this cabinet, we want just like your everyday because yes. we'll have the back stock in the other bathroom. Okay. This is stuff I take every day. I don't take that every day. Uh, I mean, what kind of day has it been? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could go in either bathroom. It doesn't really, I mean, I'm not like chug, chug, chugging on that Advil, despite how big this bottle is. This is the size of Advil you get when you have like three children. Oh, I guess I could combine this. emodiums. Yeah, we can make that one box. I can box. merge emodiums. New skin. That's not every day. I don't need new skin every day. I hope not. And then another emodium. How many oh. emodiums do I have? You're ready to go. <laughs> I'm too ready to go. I don't know what these are. They showed up at my house one day and no one will claim them. Acid reducer. I think they can be tossed. I just been holding on to them because I don't want to get rid of someone's medication. This is going so fast that I'm just like, why didn't I do this? Like, this is more of the drugs that don't work. So this is the Lonely Socks bin. This Lonely Socks bin has actually been here since the first reorg. I was supposed to go through these and tear them off. And actually there's tons of socks in here that like just kind of need to be paired off. But like, I'm actually having a hard time getting rid of socks. <laughs> Socks are useful and I can't part with because of brain broken. Mm, understood. So even if they don't have a mate. Theoretically, it's like whomst amongst us finds our perfect sock mate in the wild. <laughs> it's like, you know, who doesn't have to like pair up with like, a green sock or a purple Ooh, sock? It's it's like, if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for socks. But also at the same time, I didn't realize I had so many socks and so I bought more socks and now I'm just like drowning in socks. And I only have two feet as far as I'm aware. There's this one and then this one and then this one. And then this one. Oh, wait. Oh, but wait, there's more. And then this one. I think that's uh, oh, no. Nope. Oh, and then this one. And none of them match each other. Oh, they're all off on vacation together. I don't know why I have six socks that look almost identical, except they're different colors. Also, there's some socks in here that look like I've never worn shoes while I was wearing those socks. So like, like this one? Yeah, this is nasty. That's not good. It's a little jank. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay, fine. I will get I will get rid of the socks. I'm proud of you. Oh, wow, we finished again. Let's talk about what we have done today. This, this is, is now... revamped. Oh, actually, I didn't even notice. So this says Kristen and this says Brie. Yeah. It's like... Yes, so you each have your own basket now. So this is essentially mm. the same layout as before, just a few minor tweaks based mm -hmm. on what you had asked for. Hopefully that's easy enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are also beautiful. Yeah, they're great, right? And then we have a business area and a personal area. Perfect. Perfect. It's all labeled. There's something I like about this. It's magnetic. <gasps> oh, take it off. Slick. Go deal with your receipts. And then pop it back on. And pop it back on. Yeah. Science! This is amazing. This I is know. So cool. I love I, listen. These are a little bit more clearly labeled. It's very it'll clear. Be easier to keep it a little bit tidier and uh -huh. to know yeah. where to drop things and where to get things back. Yes. I feel like the station has evolved. And you know what? There's no shame in needing to tweak it more later. It can be station four or station yeah. five. This is all a living system. Yes. Exactly. Speaking of <gasps> living systems, hats. You said you wanted to be able to grab baseball hats easily. Mm -hmm. We have wall space. Why not? Great. So we, now it should so be cool. easy to grab what you need. Because like this entryway doesn't really serve any sort of like living purpose. No. So mm -hmm. it might as well serve like storage food. purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you guys did your homework in here and got rid of mm -hmm. some shoes. We did. We did. We did. This isn't going to look that much different. But shoes. I think it looks a lot oh, different. Oh, there's space there's for so stuff spa now. There's space for new shoes. New shoes. And space for when you come home, you can take your shoes off and I put just them on put the them shelf in. easily. You don't love my process of just like kicking my shoe and hoping it hits a shelf. I mean, I'm fine. I'm with that, okay. gamified, I don't care. It didn't take a lot, you guys did a great job purchasing. Oh, thank you. Nice. Should um, we look at the package Yes. Now? Yes, let's okay. do it. Very trainable. The project shelf has been transformed. Yes, it had kind of grown into just junk shelves. Yeah, it was just like junk drawer, but you can see everything. Yeah, So just... now we have clear labels. So like like you said, junk shelves, there had been some purses added to there, mm -hmm. some bags, some umbrellas, things that just mm -hmm. needed to go away. Now that there's space on the wall and space in the front closet, mm -hmm. 
hopefully this can stick to its own category. Yeah. So Perfect. Love that. Thank All right, you. let's move on to the next thing that we were awesome at. The bathroom. There wasn't much to do. Uh -huh. We cleared off the counter here. And the big headline is, this is now usable. We put all backstock medicines and things you weren't using daily or weekly mm -hmm. in the other bathroom where we had room. This and is now this is Daily back. concerns. Awesome. Love it. So the garage. The problems we were having were the things you used the most were somewhere up here you had to get other bins off. A little bit of Tetris to get anything uh -huh. in. So now we have fixed that by putting the things you use less often up top. The things you use more often are down here. Mm -hmm. And we've labeled This is so nice. Sheets. So we know which sheet we need for which bed because before it was like, oh, let's open this one. Maybe it's the, and then you <laughs> unfold it and it's like, ah, oh, no, it's the wrong and one. And then you have to, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're not refolding it at that no, point. No, this is now all backstock. Backstock, love but it. But we've separated into bigger, easy spaces for mm -hmm. paper goods. Here's an empty box for room to grow. Yeah. And then backstock cleaning and backstock bathroom. So cool. you can shop your own stock before you go shopping. And now there's a TV in here. Yes, and there is now floor. a TV in here, not on the floor. Now you can just watch things while you work, which is great. Yeah. We look at your yes. DVDs. Well, 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 if it isn't my problem, the DVDs. Yeah, it's my other physical media collection because I'm a thousand. You know what? I'm also a thousand. I appreciate this. You have some great movies here. Wow, yeah. you guys look great. <laughs> now they're not stacked double wide. Mm -hmm. Now they are not overtaking Kristen's knitting, knitting bin. Yeah. They have a home of their own. Yeah, it's much easier to find things. Mm -hmm. By moving stuff inward, it mm -hmm. actually makes the space seem bigger. Yeah, I agree. Now we are here at the kitchen upgrade section. So I have a lot of snacks. Mm -hmm. And also, I have a lot of people over to the house. You do. And I'm kind of constantly saying to people, just take whatever you want from wherever. But it's a little bit harder, I think, as a guest to sort of, you know, open the open pantry door and like rifle, rifle through, through your stuff. Whereas yeah. this way, if I have my snacks out, people mm -hmm. can just take snacks. And we solved the problem of having the big boxes of goldfish around by putting them in a jar. Yeah, let's talk about under the sink. This looks so much better. We maximize space by adding a riser so we can have storage double high. And every single one of these bins is labeled now. So there's antibacterial, multi-surface, trash bags. Should be pretty easy to maintain that way. And now the danger chemicals have their own little home. So that's great. All right, moving on. And now we are at the Kitchen and Jorn station. The main change is we are keeping Kitchen and Jorn future props in their own little basket. So they're not just like stacked up everywhere. And then also we have a basket for data cards. We go through tons of data cards through like footage, sounds, stuff like that. And so keeping it organized in terms of like what cards have been used, what mm -hmm. cards have not. And it, like this stuff doesn't need to be in the cabinets because you're constantly of, touching and putting it away. Yep. Yes, mm -hmm. and just easy access. So great. Hey, it's two bedroom. That's Earrings. You They're asked for it and we delivered. So on the it was a great idea. Honestly, this is giving me a good sense of what earrings I have mm -hmm. so that I don't buy more earrings, which is a lie I just told myself out loud to <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe it, but it's a waste for them to just be in a put drawer. away in a drawer. And you did a little purge of your drawers, so now yes. they fit well. We added some dividers here and just cleaned it up a little Ooh, bit. Ooh, I didn't even know that. That was and, a little surprise. And now that you moved some of your earrings up here, you have a little bit of room to grow, which is right. always a good thing. Oh, and then also we added a corkboard yes. to the back of the door. Mm -hmm. So now I can outline from the cork board and I don't have to take all the cards down off my memento board. Love it. Hey, let's talk about closet. This was mostly working. We just needed to do some purging, okay. move some stuff around. Great. Oh, yeah. What are those bins for now? Yeah. Empty bins. Mm -hmm. Woo! Empty bin plus a label maker is a lot of power, so. They could fit anything. Mm -hmm. We could even do something like, you know, because we always have trouble with denoting like what needs dry cleaning. Yes. We could have a dry clean box. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a great idea. You guys are hired. I love it. <laughs> All right, we've reached the end, which is the last two things. I have a tray for my medicines now. And then we also got a shower caddy in there. Oh my gosh, we finished. We so how did we do based on how our house looked six months ago? I am so incredibly impressed and proud of both of you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like we were talking earlier with Sheena and Daniel too, like this is why we do what we do because you guys changed your habits, you have stuck to the systems, you have totally transformed your space in your life and that makes it worth it. Oh, we graduated. We did, but Finally. I still want to come back sometime. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julian, and everyone mm -hmm. else at Space Camp. Yes. This has been awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank, and yeah. See you again in six months, a year, maybe. We'll see. Who knows? Who might knows? not even need it. All right, anyway, Let's leave on bye. that. <laughs>